What was it like when you actually did bring bass players in? Gerald Jamont was like one of the first. Gerald Jamont or... was incredible. You Chuck play... Rainey was magnificent. And Ron Carter you played with. We, we, had, we were lucky to be at Atlantic Records because all these guys were jazz guys. Yeah. You know? And they were all around the studio. We met, uh, you know, Ron Carter and uh, Gerald Jamont. Well, Chuck was our guy, really, more so than the other guys. But, uh, I mean, he would just fit in like, he was, he was perfect. Chuck would just adapt. He had this great adaptability to anything, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure I wasn't playing, you know, the funkiest parts that he would play or have somebody else play it if he was directing it. But he just, you know, he took what I what I was doing and just added to it just perfectly. You know, I mean, again, hardly no rehearsal with these guys. You know? Yeah. They just play cold, you know. Now it's he, amazing to think that they just came in and played. But, he you know, played on a girl like you. Oh, you know, if you start talking about songs, I'm going to get confused. I don't remember who played what at this point. But Gene played bass before. Gene, Gene played bass on a few things earlier, earlier on. But then once we started using Chuck and Gerald, uh, who played pretty much way too long. Chuck, yeah, Chuck was pretty much our guy, you know. Uh, he was that unbelievable. Part, yeah. he, Classic. he came up with the stuff, man. He was just wonderful. Uh, yeah, when we did our reunion, he... Uh, came to see us in, in Texas, he was living down there. Actually, when we were gonna do the, uh, the induction into the Hall of Fame, we were gonna bring him, but it was politically, uh, they couldn't get it together. Yeah. And they, they couldn't fly him up. We wanted him to play at the, you know, the uh, induction. It would have been nice to have him, you know, play Great there. Great play. Yeah, he was magnificent. I'm doing this book, and I'd really love for you to be part of this. What do you got, what do you got? Well, it's, it's the 25 best rock beats ever on record. I'm just putting together a book with all my favorite beats from drummers, you know. It's more about the beats than the drummers. Right. The actual magic of the beat, or the drum design. And I have three left out of this 25, and I would love for you to be part of this. Be honored. You know, our new band, New Rascals, is really good now. It's really, it's really capturing the original. That's what moved Eddie so much the other night. He, yeah. was, he was moved, he was in the audience, and he was just blown away by what the spirit that we had was our, our original spirit. Because we, we go back there, you know, we, it takes us back when we play, and we still have the same live energy that we had. Right. And Eddie just came up, he fit like a glove. He just sang five or six songs. It's all on tape. It's going to be on this DVD. Great. This is going to be incredible. You know? But no more twirling. Yeah, I still do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't do it as much. I saw you at yeah. McGuckle High School. You threw a stick up in the air and a break in the song, twirled your left hand, leaned forward, caught it at the front of the bass drum, went like this. When you caught it, sat down and went right back into the song. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> that was a lucky night. Thank Don't you. Stomp your foot. <laughs> you are my idol and Thank always you. will no, be. No, Liberty, it was great to talk with you, man. We got to do it more often.